we're getting a lot more information now. You know, concussions have always been there. It's just that we didn't know enough about them. You know, the, the research wasn't there. You know, we, we've known about ACL injuries since, you know, and how to, how to treat them since 1985 or before, you know, when they were repairing them. Um, you know, really in the last 10, 15 years, we're learning a lot more about concussions. I wouldn't say necessarily that the numbers, I don't think the numbers of concussions is increasing. The number of reported concussions is what's, what's increasing. You know, people have been getting them, but now we know, you know, it's trying to change that culture of, okay, I didn't just ring my bell. I do actually have an injury to my brain and trying to get that importance of it's an injury and it's an injury to your brain just like when you sprain your ankle and you, and you, you know, tear a ligament in your knee those are injuries as well this isn't just one of those things you can just brush off technology's gotten a lot better than it has been though you know, I mean you look back early 1900s they didn't have helmets in football you know then they went to leather helmets then you had this plastic shell and now we've got the ones where we can adjust the air and the cheek pads and you know form it perfectly to fit them all that is good that's that's all good technology to have and it's going to help reduce the imp, you know reduce the forces the biggest thing right now we need to do is we need to figure out how to diagnose you know the big the big one out there is CTE you know how do we diagnose that in a living person. It's just like all injuries, there's ebbs and flows. You know, there's years where you have a lot of ACLs or a lot of ankles or a lot of muscle pulls, a lot of concussions. If I had to average it out throughout all sports, you know, from fall through the summer season, per year, probably 10 to 12. You know, some years there's more, some years there's less. You know, I'm never gonna say to somebody that's the wrong choice because that's their choice. I have two kids myself, nine and seven. You know, I get asked all the time, would I let my boys play football if they wanted? Yes, I would. And I get asked why, because I know how to manage the concussion. And that's what I try to, from my standpoint, talk with all the coaches and our coaching staff here is very good. You know, if we've got a kid with a concussion, they don't even, you know, they're like, okay, they're, they're yours. You, you deal with them. There's no pressure to get them back. I tell them, look, this is where they're at in the stage. Um, the, even at the, you know, the, at the high school itself, the teachers and the administration are very good about making accommodations for them as they're coming back to school, because this isn't just an injury that affects you walking. You know, it affects you in your daily life, in your schoolwork, especially for high school kids. I mean, some of these kids need some extra help.